You gotta know a day. Today we're going to talk about Thomas Young's double slit experiment. This occurred way back in 1804. This is that Thomas Young dude right here. So at the time, they were really trying to figure out what is light. And there were two logical possibilities, that light is particles, or light consists of waves. Well, if it were particles, uh, if you shined light through these double slits, two slits that are very close to each other, if it's just particles, then they're just going to go through and they're going to hit a, a wall. And that's where you would see the, the pattern. But if they're waves, if you shoot it through um, these two slits, then as you can see where each of these overlap with each other, you get something called interference, where the waves are going to either uh, get bigger in signal or get smaller in signal. That's destructive interference. Um, and that's why you would get this banding pattern um, where it's uh, either light or dark. Well, lo and behold, experiment occurred and we see the banding pattern, bright and dark. And I'll talk a little bit more about that interference. Um, if the light is going through each of these two slits, if the wave, um, let's say the top one is orange, the bottom one is blue, uh, if they are out of sync with each other, completely out of sync, um, then you would see dark, that's destructive interference, but if you see where they're completely in sync with each other when they hit the wall, you would see very bright uh, waves, which is why um, it looks like this, where we get bright areas and really dark areas due to that interference, suggesting it's a wave. Um, however, there's a little bit more when we get to modern variants. Um, so, um, if you, again, just, just like Thomas Young's experiment, just shoot it through a, um, this double slit, you get the pattern of the brightness and the darkness because of interference. But they wanted to see, well, what happens when you look and figure out um, if we just shoot one, um, one beam you know, through and we figure out you know, which slit is it going through? Well, when you start to detect you know, which one is going through, I'm going to talk about the detector a little bit more later, then this pattern goes away. We can't see the interference really anymore. You don't. It, it's not interfering. It's just like it's the two particles from before, just by adding this detection. So, and and a little bit more. This this is really how they do it. If you shine a light through the double slit, they have what's called quarter wave plates, uh, and that basically by turning the wave, you should get information about which path it goes through. You know, if it's one way, it's one path. If the other way, it's not. And when that happens, it acts like kind of like a particle where it just goes straight through. We don't get the interference information. But if we, you know, send it through the, uh, the you know, which way detector, which path detector, essentially, uh, and then we erase that information by adding a polarizer, which gets rid of that which path information, we get the interference pattern back. So it essentially says if we know which one it went through, there's no interference. Uh, no constructive interference. If we don't know, if we erase that information, then we get uh, the interference again. Um, and there's a newer experiment called the quantum eraser, where they even do this with information, uh, which actually shows entanglement between uh, particles. They shoot a laser, goes through a lens, and then it hits a crystal. That crystal takes the one photon and splits it into two different photons. Uh, and then uh, if they just detect it, um, uh, these same same photons, again, they, they hit a detector and they know which ones are the actual entangled photons that came from that one initial photon. Um, if you know the information, you don't get, um, uh, you know, the, the which way path, you don't get uh, the interference. But if you erase that uh, information and instead of knowing, because it's entangled, that it is... Uh, uh, you know, we add this this polarizer again, and we lose that, we erase that information, and then send it through the double slit, then we get the interference pattern again. Again, if this is here, which is the eraser of knowing information, we we don't get the, the pattern. Um, if, if it is not, we do get the pattern, showing that these are actually entangled photons um, that are actually... Uh, independently, you know, influencing each other, um, even if they are separated by, by a long distance. That's a lot 
Uh, and there are lots more you can read about these things, but that is Thomas Young's double-slit experiment.